Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. So, I'm thinking of playing Central Farrook for the fun of it. Good luck. Masada's Ishida style. Hmm. You know, let's try something new. All work and no play, man. Makes Jack a dull boy. Alright, so they're making Ishida. Um, here. Let's bring the king over. Is it Ishida or Ishida? I don't know. Or Ishida. But yeah, the uh, transport's in here with the real proverbs. Um, there we go. Our American maxims, if you will. Alright, so our, our opponent can't push this pawn. Well, yeah. They want to push the pawn? I say no. Now they defend this point. And I can push... I mean, this is Ishida. This, like, very clearly is the shape. Um, so... Uh, as for what I've done... Uh, I can't really defend it. <laughs> hmm. If I push this... They take, I take, they drop... This doesn't look good. Um, let's just run. Running's free. They block their knight. Do I go up or down? Usually you're supposed to go up. So we go up? Yeah, let's go up. Mm -hmm. Can't go up any further here. So... What now? Having thoroughly screwed this up, how do we recover it? Um... Alright. That's safe, right? Not really? Um... Hmm. Interesting dilemma. Oh, I put my silver on a bad square. That's what I did. That's why none of this is working. Cool. What do I do now? We pretend to threaten the pawn. And then they drop a pawn, and, like, I have to retreat. So now I've got one pawn in hand. And an open file. But in terms of controlling this square, it's not so easy. Um, I could use my gold. Ah. <sighs> Why the hell not? Let's do it. Let's find out why not. Hmm. Nanafun. Now this is loose. They might push it. My entire setup is loose. This is not great. Um, well, there is one slightly interesting thing I could do. Let's attack it anyway. 
it's super obvious that they can defend this should they choose to. Um, well, they actually choose to. I did not expect that. Uh, that makes my job more complicated. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I've made an incredible mess. All right, screw it. Let's try this. This extremely ill-advised push. Okay. It's going to be a bit of a dance here. They will kick my silver. It'll have to retreat yet again. But I'll get to attack somehow. The worst part is that I can't move the gold sideways because this would just advance on... Well, maybe I can. Okay, I didn't foresee that. Should have foreseen it. Oh well, here we go. That's a fork. That's me running from a fork, like they tell you not to do. And suddenly I've made things complicated. I'll take complicated over losing. Losing's bad. Complicated's fun. All right, we'll have this duo mutually protect each other so that there's not a rook drop fork. Okay, there is that rook drop. Gofun. Maybe I defend my king? Sure, let's defend my king. So I've got a rook and a bishop to attack with. They're going to get some pieces, and it's... I just don't know. But I've made it complicated. Um, do I just take the knight? Feels like I just take the knight. Or do I drop a rook? Placing a rook seems interesting. Yeah, let's try this. I wish I had some cool sack around here somewhere, but I don't. Oh, also if I had a knight, this lance would indirectly be protected. So maybe that's a reason to take the knight instead of dropping this. Who knows? Who writes our proverbs anyway? Um, also, the silver could retreat, which looks insane, but I didn't consider it. If it does retreat, I could drop a bishop here. Yeah, okay, so it retreats this way instead. That doesn't seem to actually do anything. That retreat, that is. Well, it's a clump of pieces. That does something. But is it the best use of a move? You tell me. <laughs> I just played this without even reading. Like, they could actually take it because every square on the diagonal is protected. I just on faith did this, but it doesn't seem good. All right, so if they don't have a silver on this square, then I can break in. 
Um, that's not a silver. So, yeah. Funny things... Okay, thanks, Google. Funny things happen when I'm in time pressure and stop reading and just play things on impulse. Uh, good luck to you in the future as well. Yeah, they trusted me. I trusted me. What's wrong with me? It's good fun, though, isn't it? Good luck. Spearing the bird. All right. So, Spearing the Bird kind of sort of refers to some sort of attack where they pile the Rook and the Lance together to break something open. Oh, come on! Let me have my fun, will ya? Yeah, here we go. Now I can have my fun. Okay. Really? Sure, why not? Okay, um, that looks fun. Is it sound? Maybe not. <laughs> Look! Look, it's a shape. They're gonna force this to happen anyway. That's cute. Wait, where's the king going? All right. Mm. I still have my foothold. This didn't actually do anything about the foothold. So this, they broke up their attack. I don't know why. All right, you keep trusting me that I'm not going to take this, but you know at some point I'm just going to lash out and do it, right? You really trust me. What do I do with the tempo here? That's a tempo, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Nanafun. Where are they going? Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Silver takes? Silver takes did not happen. I tried. Um.
I'm getting quite excited here. Does my attack work? Probably not. Does it look fun? Probably yes. All right. Um, hmm. Something about bringing the king and the rook together is a proverb, right? There's that song, Come Together, right now. Yeah, I think that that's the proverb. Right? Just clump the pieces all in the middle. That way you can set up the board easier next time. Uh, I think that's the problem. The Watchtower Bishop, there's bound to be a brilliant move. Well, one of us got a bishop, and one of us don't got a bishop. Gofun. Hmm. This is so dumb, but like, what else should I do here? That's a fork. Cool. Well spotted. Um... Hmm. With a watchtower bishop, there is bound to be a brilliant move. Uh, one of us is using a bishop, the other one is uh, blocking it. So I'm threatening to promote this. If they use the silver to try to stop the promotion, I might um, use my silver to insist. Unless I find something else. Alright, so they finally get their attack underway. I say hello. All right, we'll take one of these. Uh, let's attack that too. Interesting. Sampun. A 
far-seeing bishop is... Okay, that's a good translation, I think. All right, two games down, one to go. Good luck. Primitive Climbing Silver is what it said next to their name. Interesting. Oh. They didn't exchange the bishops. Man, we could have had some fun adventures here. Let's keep this on the table. How long can I keep this on the table before it's just not a good idea to keep it on the table anymore? I think we long past that point. And I've now hit the point where I'm just being stubborn. Um, let's do this. I guess most players don't do what I've done here. Yeah, I'm starting to realize why. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, so no matter where my king goes, I get put in check. Um, let's try to run to relative safety. Okay, I am in check. I have one legal move. Let's play it. Okay, the opponent has a uh, gold and a knight. Uh, so they could drop the knight here, unless I'm lucky. So I guess I have to stop the knight drop. Um, maybe a pawn would have done this better, but then they have a gold drop here. So I think my move was forced, even though I blitzed it out and didn't think enough. But I think I had to do that. And then we blockade this rook. What's our next proverb? To check is to chase. Well, all right. All right, my bishop is protecting this pawn. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> all right, that's cool. If I retreat, they have a gold drop. If I don't retreat, they have a gold drop. That's not good. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, there's the gold drop. I might as well get a knight out of this deal, right? Because the knight can't escape capture, as far as I can tell. That said, uh, the opponent having a bishop is kind of scary, but I've done all I can to contain the new bishop. Um, if I move the silver, they drop here. If I move my gold, they drop there, but I can defend this point. 
Okay, so my rook can defend this point. They might take here first, but then I still take and against this fork I move over. Nothing to see here. <laughs> oh, crud. What a mess. So... Um, where do you begin trying to salvage this? You really don't. So they're, hmm, this is bad. Well, you don't try to defend forever, you try a counterattack. Okay. Um... There's the counterattack. And we just believe that this is going to work. Because if this doesn't work, I am screwed. But also, like, this doesn't look like there's a real chance of it working. Um, I don't even know what working means here. Sure. Let's put the pieces together in some kind of shape. So the gold's not hanging anymore, but the opponent's just going to promote all their pieces here. And I have no attack, because if I try to attack, they'll just drop more pawns. So, yeah. This is just extremely bad. Um... Okay. How do I try to make this more confusing? Sure. Let's use my rook. Use it or lose it. Alright, there's my rook. It's in motion. Uh, do I take here? Tough choice. Now, of course we take here. And we trap our own piece. That's fine. Um, I need somewhere I can attack, so this file is my target. Oh, they do give me the gold. That's a bit generous. Because I have a bishop I can use. I might have missed that. Okay. Um... This is still extremely bad, but I've got something. Yeah, there are they've got a good streak here. This ain't your typical 23 Q. They do have a night drop that kind of saves their butt. Um But yeah, I wasn't going to let this dragon sit here and capture everything. Mm -hmm. They have both a bishop and a rook. 
There's the rook. Um, here, you've got a rook, I've got a rook. All right. Um, it might sound crazy to give away these two pieces, but my focus is on this king. All right. Oh, I missed that. That's a painful miss. Uh, that's a very painful miss. Shit, gotta take it. But this is gonna suck. Should not have dropped my rook here. I just couldn't see anywhere else to potentially make a good use of it. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, that's their last pawn. Um, this sucks. Uh, I don't know what to do. I miscounted. I saw some number above their pawn, and now I don't see a number there. Um. Okay, I'm just going to run. There, we've built the boat. We've built a ridiculously expensive boat. But it is a... Oh, that's Checkmate. Oh my goodness. Thanks for the game. He's very beatable, but I was not up to the task because I was chatty. That's my fault. Oops. Oh well. Yeah, congrats to the opponent, and best of luck in their future games. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.